Oh, didn't see you there. Um, caught me in my element. <laughs> Yeah, just watching some of my colleagues, McGuffin and DSQ play in Nationals. They're in Dallas right now. Uh, I didn't quite make the cut. I think my duper might've been a little too high. How I set up my paddle is I like to put the lead tape horizontal on the side, like so. Uh, it gives it a little bit more aerodynamics and a little bit more power. And you wanna make sure this is on the three o'clock. Uh, this is that dark tech that no one knows about. And for the overgrip, I like to keep the plastic film on for about four or five months, you know, give or take. And it keeps the overgrip clean. And then if you just peel it off, you pretty much have a new overgrip. And nutrition, I mean, it's pretty simple. I think one of the best, healthiest snacks that you can eat before a game, night before a game, I would say the spicy, sweet, chili flavored Doritos. Make sure you get the one with the Lambo on front. There's a lot of different ways you can eat it. You can eat it right out of the bag, you can dip it in some cheese, or you can stay healthy and sprinkle it on top of some salad. And it's really important that you eat before the guaranteed fresh date. Uh, for maximum health. And my final food tip is make sure when you're eating your hot Cheetos before a game that you use chopsticks or a snack picker thing and your overgrip won't get Cheeto dust on it. Not gonna get that from Ben John's. And when it comes to hydration, just wash it down with some white peach sake. I get this all the time. So yeah, everyone calls me out because my duper says I'm 1.24. But what's most important is that your 7.0 duper here, in your brain, and in your nucleus. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for coming by. You're welcome for all the insight. And I can't wait to see this on YouTube. Yeah, we're definitely not publishing that. What was that?